What is up, everybody? Happy Monday to you, Bananas fans. We are live on Bananas Unpeeled, episode 1467. Yes. Last episode, we had Dr. Curtis Sproul from Georgia Southern University explaining why the bananas are so wildly successful. It's science. Scientifically proven. Yes. Proving your claims, Jesse Cole's claims here, that... (laughs) The Bananas players, while they might be not the best college players from across across the country, they perform wildly better when they put that Bananas uniform on. We got a lot of reaction about that. Yes. People still probably don't believe us. Most people don't. Any sort of reaction that you were surprised about? <laughs> no, it was a great episode. Uh, and that was, what, 926 last yeah, episode? Yeah, episode 926 is what that was. And it was great because... Literally, scientific proof now that bananas, based on the stats looking at the last three years of all players in the Coastal Plain League, when you wear a bananas uniform, you will perform better based on OPS, yep. based on K-to-walk ratio, all different statistics he looked into. Really cool episode, and I think it has a lot to do with the atmosphere, the environment, the culture of you, as you said, the Bananas fans. That's right, and we are the only team that had any sort of statistical correlation with that, which brings us to this episode, which yes. we are going, again, behind the scenes of what we're thinking about, what the Bananas are doing, what is going on in banana land this is that type of episode if you have comments if you have questions we are facebook live right now feel free to leave those questions or comments Mm -hmm. below in the show if you're watching on youtube leave some questions and comments there if you're listening to the podcast we're sorry just keep listening along (laughs) this episode as we're talking about players and playing well we are today announcing the format of the 2019 coastal plain league all-Star Showdown is presented by Michael John. It is going to be in Savannah July 7th and 8th, and we are stoked to be able to host it. And the showdown word is really key. We, we struggled with this for a while. Yes, we got there um, because we chose not to do it. It's not an all-star game. It's not nope. necessarily even an all-star event. It's a showdown. It's not a festival. Yes, yes. It's 100% a showdown, and we're breaking the mold again. This is... An all-star event showdown that's never been done before. So this will be a Sunday and Monday in Savannah, two-day thing. People, you know, are a little confused about why we decided to bring the showdown here to Savannah. And we thought we've got to give Bananas fans another opportunity to see something totally outside the box. Mm -hmm. It cannot be a traditional all-star game. And that's what, you know, we've hopefully set out to do with naming it the showdown. Yeah, and let's go. So basically, been in this league since 2007. Yeah. All right. Uh, Been involved in a few different teams. Never hosted the all-star game, Never, ever, ever hosted. That's what shocked people. So never hosted. They're like, what are you going to host it? And I was like, "Ah, just we got to make sure it's the right opportunity. And Savannah this year is the right opportunity and I'll tell you Jared it's been challenging to try to think of what are we going to do that's unique Mm -hmm. because a lot of teams have tried different things yes Um, you know usually in the day before you know the nine inning all-star game is pretty much standard everyone has a nine inning all-star game no one's done anything different than that right but the day before there's you know lots of different ideas with home run derbies I mean one team actually had you hit backwards yes you actually hit on center field (laughs) seems very dangerous yes getting into fans that's crazy you've had other teams like hit into the ocean and we've talked about ideas yeah. like I mean some of the ideas we said could we hit uh, in Tybee Island could we yes. hit off the deck could we hit over Savannah River could we hit across the river and we actually had meetings trying to do, and, and the answer was no we cannot actually hit over Savannah 834 feet I think Eight, uh, yeah I think um, Rob Wells over at the sports council actually found out the math somehow it's 800 yes. some odd feet across the Savannah River yes uh, the only fear was if a container ship comes in and if the Coast Guard says we need to cancel this event we would have to cancel the event immediately, yep. and we would pretty much uh, risk it all trying to host that. So we decided to scrap that. Scrap that. We'll bring it back to the ballpark. Yes. But, but we, we did have these crazy ideas. We did, and even some other ideas. I mean, I've talked about this before. I mean, having a glow-in-the-dark, pitch-black home run derby yep. where the bats are glow-in-the-dark, yeah. the balls are glow-in-the-dark. That was a crazy idea. Couldn't figure out because that would be starting much later, also dangerous. Yes. The other one that I thought was really great, but you thought it was extremely danger- dangerous, was putting the players on these like scaffold, 50-foot lifts. scaffold lifts up and hitting the pitcher up on a lift and hitting from 50 feet up in the air, which I still think is a brilliant <laughs> idea, and I still want to do it. Um, if you guys want to see players hitting off lifts 50 feet in the air, let us know because we can convince Jared. That scared that. the crap out of me. <laughs> so, again, all these ideas, home run derby. And then we thought of that first day. Every first day event, you know, it's usually a skills challenge, a home run derby, et cetera. It's all 
been done. It's yes. so all been done. So like, and fans, you know, they've seen home runs, right. and it, it, they can be excited when you have guys that can hit mammoth home runs. Yeah. But at Grayson Stadium, it doesn't happen. Much. If you've come to many home games at Grayson Stadium, you realize that we rarely hit home runs. What did we hit two last year? Not many. And of course, you know, not, nothing against the players or anything like that. It is just a large ballpark, and it's heavy in the air, and the balls do not fly out of this place very easily. Yes. Yeah, so um, the home run derby is a challenge. So we said, how can we actually make it fun, action, entertainment? Because that's what we do. Yep. And so how do we turn that into, like I said, two days of nonstop action? Right. And that's where it came. That's where some of these ideas came from. And that's what we're going to share a little bit now. The inspiration, Keith Olbermann, who I know yes. is watching right now. Yes, uh, of course he's watching. Yes, so big shout out to Keith Olbermann, uh, ESPN and sportscaster for many years. Yes, yes. Um, so thank you for watching and tuning in and thank you for the inspiration. Yes. He wrote an article after the Major League All-Star Game and said, no one cares anymore. Right. Pretty much. He goes, right. it's not. It's a non-event. And he said, we need to turn, if we want to fix the MLB All-Star Game, we need to turn it upside down. Right. And he said, you know, why don't we just turn it into three inning mini games, mm -hmm. have a triple header mm -hmm. between the different divisions, have a fan vote team, and let's make it fun where it's actually kind of competitive and yeah. it's unique. And I was like, this is brilliant. So yeah. I remember I went to you and I, I went to the uh, uh, commissioner of the league and I said, we could do this and maybe change it around even more so. And they again, most times think we're crazy when right. we come with ideas. Right. We're like, no, it's actually in an article. Keith right. Olbermann, thanks again for watching, who noticed it. He said like, this is, this is something they should do. Yeah. And so we were so we're rolling it out. Now we can get into the details. So yeah, I think you know what we're what we're trying to not do is have a traditional yeah. All Star. So when you think of coming to the All Star, if you've got your tickets already, if yes. you if you've you know thought about getting tickets to it, this is going to give you the real framework of like it is completely the opposite of what you think a traditional all-star game there it's not just you know guys hanging out and having fun like there is going to be excitement it is going to matter mm -hmm. it is going to be competitive yes there's going to be some crazy nuances that we throw in we'll talk about later in the episode it's a big prizes yes how, so, so how is this a complete opposite from what a traditional all-star so game again is? very simple first day you have the home run derby it is what it is. The next day, you have a nine-inning All-Star game. You have one team versus the other team, yep. and players get a bat or two. There's different pitchers, and the game's over. Doesn't matter. Yep. And I know Major League Baseball is like whoever we used about. You've win it. They you get home that. field yep. advantage yep. in the World Series, but that's kind of a point that's not thought of much. So now we're like, well, what if we get these mini teams being really competitive? The more you play, the more you actually get exposure in front of Major League scouts because yes. there's the Coastal Plain League. There's sometimes fifty to hundred professional scouts yes. at this All-Star game, and so we're gonna make these mini fast games, as we know. We've been trying to make the games faster, more exciting. Yes. Three inning games. Yes. I mean, it's quick. It's yeah. action packed. I mean, we're hoping these will be less than an hour. Yeah. And uh, so now you win, you move on. Right. You win, you move on. Right. And that's that's the idea. And obviously, all the characters, the the, the things that we do at the ballpark, from the mananas to the banana man, all the show will still be in there. But we're going to make these baseball fun, quick games mm -hmm. into. You want to catch both nights? Yes. Is the team in the quarterfinals going to go to the finals? What's going to happen? And uh, it's it's been exciting so far as we've unveiled tickets because we've been selling as many or more tickets the first night. Yes. Yes. Yeah. People are very enthusiastic about the first night because it is day one. Yeah. And not. Not only will these guys be playing in front of hundreds of Major League Scouts, 4,000 Bananas fans, they're going to be playing in front of a national audience, which gives you know Bananas fans something to be proud of, that we get to show this off in front of MLB.com, all these regional TV 30 networks. million households yes. is, is the number. 30 I, million. I mean, a Have you ever been in front of 30 million households? Not, not today. Not, not today. today. Not, but we want to, we're going to be unveiling this yes. in front of a large audience. Yes. It won't just be the live people that are watching it. Yes. So, so Let's let's walk through why each part of these are important. So home run derby, yes. what happens? Give us a little right. background. So we still have some surprises, I guess, with the home run derby. Yes. And part of when I say surprises, I mean we're still trying to figure it all out. Yes. Which most things that happen at Bananas Games behind the scenes, we don't necessarily know until the last minute. Yep. So we're working on that. Yep. But we're gonna make some creative things that happen during the home run derby. The way it's gonna work, we're gonna have there's six teams mm -hmm. total. In this home run, in this in this All Star Showdown, yes. and each team will have one person representing them in this home run derby. That will determine the seeds of the All Star Showdown. Right. So to be very simple, if you win the home run derby, you're the number one seed, and you're getting a buy until Monday. Yep. If you're the number two, the runner up in the home run derby, you're getting a buy until Monday. The next four finishers. You're playing Sunday to try to get to the next round. That night. So, folks, there's going to be six teams there. Two of the teams will get a bye into the semifinals. The other four teams will immediately start playing that night 
at seven o'clock in front of all the Bananas fans, in front of all these All-Star Showdown fans, for the quarterfinals of the All-Star Showdown. They'll literally enter into a three-inning game that minute as soon as the home run derby's over. Win or go home. Yes. So for these guys, you could play in front of more households, more scouts, if you keep playing. And then there'll be obviously prizes and awards for the winners as right. well. So it actually puts some stakes. Right. Because you could only get one at bat. Or right. you could get two or three. Right. So it's really interesting. So the way it's going to broken down is you're going to have the North Division, the South Division, mm -hmm. which we're a part of, mm -hmm. the West Division, and the East Division. Mm -hmm. The next two teams are interesting. And this is where it gets a little fun. Yes. A complete fan vote team. Yes. Complete fan vote. So that means if someone from any of your teams didn't make it, they can join the fan vote team. Right. Which will be really interesting. And then the final one is completely bananas. Yes. This has never been done before. Yes. Go ahead. We are going to have the first ever hometown team Literally, Team Savannah, which will have six Bananas members to help out, and then another whole group of people that are going to get to play in front of this group, 30 million households. That literally, it's people from Savannah, right? or people that have roots in Savannah, or people that live in Savannah now. If you have Savannah ties, you can play in front of 4,000 fans with the bananas. And so he's teased that now, and we'll get to the, the, the structure of how you might be able to join this team. I want to get into Monday night a little bit yes. because there's two semifinal games and a championship game. Yes. What's your vision for what these guys walk away with as a champion of the All-Star Showdown? How crazy could it be? It'd be probably the most pride they'll ever have in their entire life. I mean, it could be it could be bananas underwear, perhaps. Oh well, it there's could be something. Dog. It could be something bigger than that. There could be you big know, underwear. What trophy are they looking for? Yeah. You know, like what's the bragging right? Like, what's your vision? Could for they win guys? a year's supply of food to somewhere? I don't know. Give us your vision for like what that trophy would look like for the first ever All Star Showdown. <laughs> Well, I mean, last year we had a golden spork that was like yes. 25 feet high. Yes. So uh, this trophy will be outrageous. But, yes. I mean, <laughs> what I just say, what happens when you win this, it's going to be a huge celebration. Yep. And, um, you know, it's really cool. So the way the format, at 6 o'clock is the Homer Derby yep. on Sunday. 7 o'clock is the first quarter final, quarterfinal. Seven, 8 o'clock is the second quarterfinal. Then those teams move on to Monday to play in the semifinals starting at 6 o'clock. Semifinal, semifinal, and the final will be at 8 o'clock. I think what could be interesting is hopefully, you know, as fans from all over the region come to these games, obviously it'll be a heavy bananas crowd, yep. but there'll be fans coming from all over the region. This gives people rooting interest yes. that they can move on. In, in most All-Star games, they yes. might like a player that's there. They yep. might just be there for the experience. They might just have a you know a bucket list item that they want to cross yep. off. But now fans literally have a rooting interest yes. for who they want to see move on. And hopefully there's, you know, again, more of a bananas bias towards this and that you know there's tons of bananas fans cheering on the south division and then cheering on the savannah team because yeah. that would be amazing if, if this hometown team somehow wins the south division versus the banana versus team savannah which we'll get into how you can be a part of team savannah in a second that would be the ultimate showdown championship yes I, it's like wwe world championship right there yeah that's i think how you draw it up but uh yeah it's exciting the rooting interest is huge you go to an all-star game you just watch some great players now, can you get behind a team? Who can you root for? Who are yeah. you getting behind? And that makes it interesting because uh, for these kids, these players, it's an opportunity to play more, get seen by more scouts in front of more fans. I mean, you know, they're going to be TV both nights. Yeah. National yeah. television like both nights, which yeah. is pretty exciting. Why is it important for us to try something like this? I mean, <laughs> we could literally, there's nothing wrong with having a regular all-star game. Yeah. Nothing wrong with having a few thousand people show up. Why is it important we try something like this? I mean, I think everything we do is trying and experimenting things that can be fun. And I think the reality is, uh, you know, it's never been done before. Yeah. And so why not do it? It, it would be off-brand for us to say we're going to do a typical game. Yeah. And so we want fans to come. You don't know what to expect, but hopefully get behind and excited. We yeah. don't know. This could be... We have no idea, but we know it's going to be a shorter, more condensed, fun experience. You're not sitting through a nine-inning game. Right. Maybe you just want to watch the first three-inning game. Maybe right. you want to watch the first six innings, whatever right. it is. Um, so we're testing. It'll be fun. What are you excited about? I think for me, it's it's introducing something totally different to a fan yeah. base who you know who expects us to come up with something ridiculous and, and inventive. And so I know as we've been talking to people about coming to the game, they've been asking, you know, what is it? How is it? What's it going to be like? Right. And we've kind of had this vague idea of, you know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be entertaining. It's going to be, you know, multiple games. But now we're able to really share with them. And then the second thing is we're still going to be putting on the show. 
There's still going to be more entertainers. The band, the nanas, the man Like all of our entertainers times 10 will be there because we have the opportunity to share something that a lot of these people have never seen before, not only in the live experience, but to people all across the country. I'm hoping that people tune in and they say, what the heck am I watching right now? This is the craziest form of baseball that I've ever seen. Could we get that? Yeah, and I think what's really great about this format is that we're going to have little breaks in between each game. Mm -hmm. We've never had, we have the minute to work with. Yes. Give us 10 minutes, good luck. All right, give us 10 minutes and good luck. So it's like, maybe fans will be like, oh, can't wait till that game's over because I'm ready for the show. Yeah. And then game two. Yeah. And so, uh, I mean, and I'm like, treat about the fans. You know, what are they excited about? What are they looking forward to? Because, you know, we are just testing things. Yeah. And it's going to give us a lot of opportunity to make some great promotions. We've got a few questions here in comments, yeah. and I'll get to those in a yes. second. But I do want to do the review of the week. Yes. Just want to make sure we keep, you know, shouting out the people that support us with the best comments and the best uh, reviews that we have. So this comes from Jeannie Clifton. Uh, it does come from three years ago so you know this is going to be a good one this was posted on one of our videos on facebook and she says quote savannah bananas dot 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 what kind of name is that for a baseball team triple question mark triple exclamation point ridiculous this is not the three stooges baseball with so many other great names they could come up with they they pick bananas good grief I think Three Stooges Baseball, in my opinion, could be an interesting league name. I'm really intrigued by that. I like Three Ring Baseball, Three Stooges Baseball. I mean, there's some good opportunities there. Gina, it was Gina, thank you. Jeannie, thank you for contributing yeah, that amazing review three years ago. We're sorry we just got to it right now. If you have other reviews or if you have other comments or texts that you want to send to Jesse, his phone number, 781-424-2499. I want to give a shout out to nobody that's actually come to see me. Uh, I do have office hours. Tuesdays, 8 to 9 a.m., shout out to uh, nobody who has actually visited. Tina came once. I, well, we've, sh we've shouted out Tina too many times. Okay. It's, we've, I, I've moved on. All right. <laughs> I've moved on I would like some, someone else to maybe come visit on Tuesdays from 8 to 9 All right, 9. let's get back on task. Back on task. All right. This is, I mean, okay, Keith Olbermann came up with this kind of idea of the three-inning games, yes. the miniseries, make it meaningful. I like... To know, is has there ever been the public fan a part of the actual all-star game? I'm not talking about they take a charity swing. I'm not talking about they're on the on the, on the ice before the game and drop the puck. <laughs> I'm not talking about a, a celebrity game where it's like a three-point. I know people do that. I'm talking about what we're about to explain to you. These people that you can nominate or be a part of and try out for are going to be a part of the All-Star Showdown in the actual game. What in the world have we done? <laughs> I don't think it's been done on any game ever. Not just All-Star. All-Star is crazy. Of course. Because now you're actually competing against the best of the best of the best. Yes. But this is any game. And it's part of like fans first. If we're truly fans first, True. you're involved in our show. We had auditions the other day, and hundreds of people showed up to be a part of you know, the Banana Babies, the Banana Nanas, the Banana Band, the Bananas. They're part of the show. Now they get to be a part of the actual game? Yes. What is wrong with us? We are having tryouts. We will be having <laughs> tryouts. Mark your calendars. I don't know what actual day it is. The Tuesday after Memorial Day. I believe that's the 30th, 29th, the 28th. Yes. The 28th, Tuesday, May 28th, 5.30 p.m., right here at Grayson Stadium, we will be having tryouts. If you would like to join Team Savannah in the Coastal Plain League All-Star Showdown, that will be your chance. What are you expecting? I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> I don't think any of us... Like, we could have, like... Uh, high school athletes, you know, guys that play college ball. Pro ball. We could have a 70-year-old that just loves watching baseball. Yes. I hope we get all of these people because yes. it's going to be a decision that maybe it's our coach and our staff. Maybe we let some fans decide. I don't know. Yes. But literally, this is such a cool opportunity. We're going to have jerseys, uniforms. And, Whole nine yards. And you're going to be playing at this ballpark in front of 4,000 people. And on TV. And on 30 million households. Um, and on MLB TV. But... 
this could be a dream for a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Because this is, I mean, really cool. This is an opportunity to get a bat. Now, again, these pitchers are going to be throwing 90 plus miles an hour. Yes. <laughs> it's the best of the best. And if you're if you're playing the field, the balls are going to be coming at you pretty strong. I mean, this is a whole nother level. And I can't wait to see because this is the epitome of what our company is trying to do and be right. fans first. And the fact that the league is letting us do this is absolutely crazy. Oh, yeah. And we are tremendously supportive for them supporting us in this venture. Oh, yeah. I mean... <laughs> We're talking about Grayson Stadium, which, as most of you know, if you're a Bananas fan, if you're a baseball fan, if you've heard of talk, heard us talk in general, built in the 20s, remodeled in the 40s, history has been made. Yes. Babe Ruth, Jackie Robinson, Hank Aaron, John Small, I mean, Mickey all, Mantle, man, keep going. It just goes on and on and on. Now, this dream could literally be someone who wants to play at the historic yes. Grayson Stadium in front of these crowds, put on the Team Savannah uniform. We are not limiting ages. If you're a t-baller and you think you have what it takes, come try out. If you're seven years old and you might have once, might have once played t-ball, come try out. Actually, the idea of seeing a t-baller show up and just pumped and he really believes, are they, he, she, he, she? I mean, it really not, doesn't matter. Not afraid of it. But we could have, I mean, I picture all these banners at our ballpark. You're mentioning of, you know, of, oh. of Lou Gehrig, Hank Aaron, John Smoltz, Ted Williams, all these ones that played here. Jenny Smith. Jenny Smith. Team Savannah, 2019. All-star showdown. She came up in front of 4,000 fans, hit the game-winning double, all right? You can live, I mean, this life. I mean, this yeah. is amazing. So we are uh, setting up a uh, website or a web page on our website. Yes. It is the Savannah, sorry, can't speak right now. We're excited. The Savannah Bananas.com slash hometown tryouts. The Savannah Bananas.com slash hometown tryouts. And that's where you can put in your information, name, uh, just simple stuff, a picture of yourself, and then we want to know your experience. You know, here too, I think. Not base, well, it could be baseball experience. Just experience in life. Like, what have you done? I mean, because actually, there's some really great opportunities. Let's think about this. I mean, people in the military, people at you know, EMS. Right. I mean, people that have done... What's your story? Yeah. People have done some really cool things in Savannah that represent this city. Mm -hmm. That would be awesome. And also, I was thinking about this. If you're or a big, big hitter, you could potentially represent them in the Home Run Derby. That would be electric. So we could actually have a hometown person, not a Bananas. And, and what's cool is you will be playing with six Bananas. Yes. So there'll be six Savannah yes, Bananas to help that. out with you. It's not just all hometown because you never know. This could be... An upset of the century. We have, we'll have, yeah, we'll have six Bananas players. We'll have six or seven hometown players. Yeah. It could be a team that has a little bit of kind of gumption behind them. Chip so on the shoulder. Because these, these Bananas weren't selected for the All-Star game. Correct. If, if anyone has watched Batter Bastards of Baseball, yes. this is kind of a similar concept yes. that we saw from them when they were trying to field this independent league team. Yes. And they had this casting call and had hundreds of people come from all over the yeah. country. Now, we're not expecting that. But hundreds of, people came, yourself. hundreds of people came from all over the country to live this dream. Yeah. To have this one more tryout, to play one more time, to be on one more yeah. field, and have one more game. And it was like, that's pretty cool. And we've always envisioned that, and now we kind of have this opportunity to do it. So for the live audience, I'm intrigued right now. Do you know anybody you think that could be great or have a lot of fun playing for this team? Would you nominate anybody? I want to hear because I think it's a really cool opportunity. Even just come for tryouts. Yes, and come be, for tryouts. Come for tryouts, be a part of it, put on a uniform, play at the stadium in front of Bananas fans. I think that's going to be really, really so cool. So, I mean, tag people. Tag your friends. Leave comments. Yes. Forward this video to them. Send this email. Like, Let these people know because they need to get in touch with us. Yes. I mean, you basically have five weeks to get ready. And that's, and they might be, they need to go to spring training. They need to start getting their calisthenics in and start eating healthy. I would love to see people start creating videos, yes. training for the next five weeks, getting ready to be a part of Team Savannah and for the tryout. Now, I, I guess if you want to come here, probably off limits, probably need to train on your own. We don't want to give any biases towards coming to Grayson State. Yeah, yeah. But if you need to film some videos, if you need to create some content for yourself to maybe boost your campaign. Yes. Please do. Because it is a campaign. It's not just baseball skills. We want the story. We want the effort that you put in. We want to see some of these videos. Like, why do you deserve, why should you earn the opportunity to wear a Team Savannah uniform? And no, not only that, you will be judged in front of Tyler Gillum, yes. the second most winningest coach in, in all of Bananas history. Yes. And so, as he says, you've got to embrace being a banana. Yes. You've got to buy into this program. You've got to buy into the culture. So if you're not a culture fit, no. good luck. If you're not ready to steal bases, you're not ready to get dirty. You're not, not ready to dance. Not ready to dance. Like You are going to be a performer. You're not just a baseball player. As we tell our players every single year, mm. 
You've got to become a banana. Now, I, I just want to be clear. I don't. We don't want to scare away any no. of these fans. No. We want you guys to give it a shot. Throw your hat in the ring have and, let's, and have fun. We want play people that want to have fun. And if you have a great story or if you know someone that has a great story that should be have the opportunity to do this, let us know. TheSavannahBananas.com slash hometown tryouts. I think it's going to be exciting. We got a few nominations here already. All right. We do. I think you'll laugh at this one. Barry Aldridge oh. in our office. Is that allowed? We need to discuss that right yeah, now. Yeah, it's like if you think so. Barry is our director of tickets. Talk about him. Um, he played baseball at a school that doesn't even exist Rest anymore. Rest in peace, Armstrong State Armstrong. University. Um, Barry was a very, very, very good college baseball player. Yes. On the edge of, um, I mean, potentially not too far from a pro type player. He, yes. he could hit. Yep. And uh, he let you know that he could hit. Yes. <laughs> had, had, some, had some incredible work ethic. If you yeah. know anything about the Armstrong program when they were in existence, they had a great program. Yeah. Always going to the playoffs, always winning championships. Barry was a part of that team. And uh, yeah, some people are saying that. Uh, that Barry should be a part of this. And, and then Tersh says, how about another game this year where players play against the Bananas staff? I'm not sure if we would end up. Well, I mean, we got Jesse, who's a, yeah. uh, 78 miles per hour. Oh, here it comes. Reliever over that, here. That's a test right there. All right, wow. We see Ben's laughing behind. Ben played ball, too. All right, what else we got? Uh, Sean McBride, shout out to our amazing, ba- amazing band director. Uh, band director. Been the band director for three? This will be his third season. Yes, now. third season. Third season as band director. Uh, he says, I'll sit in on any singing slash musician ball player tryout. So if you're a if you're a baseball player, but you're also a uh, singing musician, is yes. that someone who would we look for? I mean, I, I think we're open to anything at this point. Basically, just touch our hearts. And I don't know what that looks like. No, I don't know what it looks like either. Uh, <laughs> Tina is watching with us right now. Tina says uh, she tagged Pierce Hammond and Devin Hammond. Don't know who those guys are or girls, whoever they are. Uh, get in touch with us. Let yeah. us know. I think Pierce is a guy. Just a, just a guess. Could be. Yes. Uh, Sheila Lynn Cochran says, I have no idea what this will be, but I know it will be all caps FUN. Yes. Good. That's the energy we're looking for. And that's pretty much how you describe our whole thing. I have no idea what this is going to be when you walk yep. in the gates, but it'll be fun. Uh, Tina also said in response to our trophy or, or prize, the golden banana. The golden banana. I like it. I like it a lot. What else do people need to know about this? No, it's... it's, uh, it's both dates still have available tickets. So I think yep. that's important at this time. You know, we have only three games available in June. These two still have available tickets. Um, expect the unexpected. Yes. We just know it's going to be action packed. We're going to have a lot of talent. It'll be the most all star players ever playing in the history of the Coastal Plain League, which, right. you know, the most players represented, which probably equal the most amount of major league scouts here watching. And that's about the baseball. We don't talk much about that. But this is going to be the top talent yes. in all the country playing. And. Hopefully, some of that's on our hometown team representing. Yeah. I mean, you could. What if this hometown guy got missed? What if there's one person that got missed and they're getting seen in front of 100 scouts? What is that storyline? Can you imagine that? That storyline, because he tried out to be part of this and a major league scout said, you know, wow, he's got an arm or he can hit. I think we should definitely not tell the scouts that there's a hometown team playing and then just gauge their reaction. Yes. Who is this guy? Hey, <laughs> wow, I just missed my. I must have missed him somehow. What school is that? Oh. Uh, no school. He's graduated this, 10 years ago. Yeah, hasn't graduated yet. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, that that is a great point. Like, these are the top college players from across the country. They'll be playing in Savannah for two days. It'll be insane. I mean, the, the number of guys that will get drafted out of this league will be, you know, in the thousands. It's yes. over 1,200 players that have been drafted in this league. Yes. A lot of them go through that all-star game. We personally had the most all-stars we had ever had last year. Yep. We had six or yeah, seven, yeah, six or seven uh, yeah. all-stars. Again, we have a lot of players that get in this league. They get seen by people. They get drafted. And now they're doing well in minor league baseball. But this is an opportunity, again, for us to give something new to the fans. Yeah, Something new, something unexpected. As you always say, expect the unexpected. Yep. And it's something that hopefully the rest of the world will start taking notice on that this might be the newest way to do an all-star game. Make baseball more fun. And this is a start with the All-Star Game. Just like Keith Olbermann said at the beginning of the show, the All-Star Game needed to change. And we're testing it for you, Keith. We're testing it right now. We're going to change it. We're going to make it fun. And uh, join it. If you have other ideas, if you have other comments, if you have other suggestions, let us know. What would you also like to see in the All-Star Showdown? If you have people that want to be a part of it, or if you want to be a part of it, let us know. Email us. Get on the website. Go to thesavannahbananas.com slash hometown tryouts. We are looking forward to July 7th and 8th for the All-Star Showdown here in Savannah. Thanks for watching. Go Bananas.